Okay, uh, so now let's talk about uh, the preparations that we need uh, to connect to our relational database in Python. Um, uh, so, so things we have to do before we can and query our data and also we can modify our tables in our relational database. So first, we need to write those connection information into a separate file. So in most cases, we write into that INI file. So the reason is because those information are uh, sensitive, so you don't want to put those information into your Python code and you don't want to share share those information on your GitHub. Uh, so that's why we want to set that one into a separate INI files. And in this case, we are called configure. Configure.INR file. And that is also the reason that why we this this one to be ignored on our GitHub. Because we want to save this file locally to our notebooks. Uh, instance, we don't want to publish that one to GitHub. The second step is that we need to install some Python libraries so based on the database that you are using. So um, in this class, we will use Pandas. So that is a very famous uh, data analysis Python library. So we have used that one in the uh, I241 class. So that is a very powerful data analysis tool. We are also going to use this one, configure parser. So this is uh, used to read information from this INI file. Okay, so this is, we are going to use that one to read information from the INI file. Uh, we are also going to use this one. So this is a, a most popular post GRE circle database adapter for Python. So depending on which Python library that you are going to use or which database you're going to use, you, you may need to choose different Python libraries. But in most cases, you are, and we will, I will definitely need to use Pandas and also this one, Configure Parser. And for this one, so it's really depending on which database you are using. So if you are using uh, MySQL or the other um, database, then you should use that corresponding Python library. Uh, so. Um, in Python, if you want to install a Python library, you need to use pip install. And in Notebook, if you want to install a Python library, you need to type the escalation mark uh, before the pip uh, command. And next, you need to install the Python library. So if you have those Python library installed and you don't need to install it again, however, if if your Python does not have your Python environment does not have those Python library, so you have to install those Python Python library first. Okay. Okay. Uh, so now let's go back to our GitHub and also our notebook. So we just published our first notebook. Um, if you open there and if you check the history, and uh, you can see it has been published uh, thirty minutes ago. And it has a unique ID that can be compared against the other um, editings that on your GitHub. So one nice feature on GitHub is that so if you are working with someone else, and so you can collaborating collaborating with others, and also you can share your um, uh, your code together, and also you can do the version control. So that is a very very important. So for example here. I'm going to open this um, um, readme file and also I'm going to write a second line so that a third line. So here I think it updated from GitHub website. And here I want to say why do I need want to change this one? So I, I want test update from GitHub website. And you can add additional explanations or descriptions. So it is always the best practice. You give specific descriptions for each change. And now if you commit that change, so for example, someone else editing your Python files or editing your uh, readme files. Okay, and if you go to the history, and you can see here that is a new history 
the, the, the record is here and you can always draw back if something wrong. And here, now if we go to my uh, CMake instance, so, uh, so for example, if you are working with someone else, so every time when you open your instance, the first thing that you need to do is that you need to click this pull button so that I want to synchronize to the cloud. Okay, so every time you want to open your notebook, you need to synchronize with the cloud. And also everything that you do after you close your notebook, you should also publish, update your cloud. Okay, so here before I open my notebook again, I want to synchronize from the cloud. And let me refresh. Okay, so it looks like everything has been synchronized. And if you go to the folder and if you double click the readme file, and you can see this has been updated. Okay, it's because we have this line. Okay, that's great. Uh, so now let's go to our SageMaker. Uh, so remember, here we are in the Jupyter Lab. So Jupyter Lab is where you can organize your files. Um, now let's go back to SageMaker. Let's open the notebook. Okay, and you can see that the readme file has been updated. So if we open that one, you can see this one has been updated. Um, however, the notebook 4 has not been updated because we didn't do any change on GitHub um, website. Okay, uh, so before we start, as I said, that we need to create that configure.inr file. So that is one that uh, we are going to store the sensitive information about the database. So let's create a new, and let's create a text file. And we rename the text file into configure.inr file. Okay, configure.inr file. And we click OK. And next, we are going to type the sensitive information. So, first, let's type uh, square bracket my AWS. Okay. So we tell that, okay, so now we are using the AWS service. So I just give it a name AWS. And the first variable is a host equals. So here you should copy and paste the URL that provided on Canvas, so the host URL of the of the, our relational database instance. And next you should tell the username. username. So here I'm using a demo user. So for your username, it should be group one, two, three, or something like that. Password. And here I'm just using uh, a demo password, although it's not one, two, three, four. I just use this as an example, but you should have your real password that is also on cameras. Database. So we are all using the same database, which is PostGRES. Okay. And next, we save this one. And we close that. Uh, so now you can see that configure.inr has now been created. Okay, remember that configure file contains the sensitive information. So that's why we put all the sensitive information in the configure file. And also on our GitHub, um, that the, in this ignore file, we tell GitHub, okay, don't synchronize this configure file. So we won't leave everything to our um, SageMaker uh, instance. We don't want to publish that one to GitHub. Next, let's install the necessary Python library. So let's open our lecture form. And let's start a new section. So we call it um, install all import library, Python libraries. Okay, so as I said, so if you haven't if you haven't installed that Python library, you need to use escalation mark, keep install, and you need to install those Python libraries. Um, so for example, if I want to install the 
PSYCOPJ2. So that is a most popular Python library for um, post GR circle. So I, let, let me try see if that one has, has been installed or not. Okay, so when you see there is a star, that means um, that cell is being executing, so you should be patient. And when you see that star become a number, so that means this cell uh, is finished. So you can see that requirements already satisfied. So that means that Python library has already been installed, so which is great. Uh, so that means next time you don't need to install this Python library again. Uh, so let's import those Python libraries. So every time we do need to import those Python libraries. So import pandas, import configure parser, and import this Python library. And now if we run it, Okay, so here I have an error that says that I don't have this module, that is because I have a typo. So, okay, so let me write again. Okay, so now I see a warning. So warning normally is not error. So this warning simply saying that uh, this module uh, will be renamed after the, the future release. So. Uh, if you want to keep updated, you should keep install this one. However, I, I just tried uh, uh, this lab, um, this lecture in another uh, SageMaker instance. So every, everything went fine. So let's just keep using this one. So instead of um, uh, instead of um, using the new one, so let's just keep using this one. So let's. So that is how we need to uh, prepare for the. Uh, no um, database. So first, we create this INR file, configure INR file that contains those sensitive information, and you should never share that one with others. And next, we install those necessary Python library. So now we save it. And so before we finish this lecture, so if now we go to the Jupyter lab, so let's. Uh, Refresh and actually, I don't need to refresh, and we can see that they already detected a change that the notebook has been uh, identified changed. But you can see the RNI file has been ignored. Okay, so which is nice. Uh, so now that it has been changed, so we update that one to the stage, and we we say okay. So this one we added a new code and we import pattern libraries and we commit that change and remember you all still have need to publish that change to click this push button okay okay so that was success and now if we go to our github and we can see that uh, the notebook has been changed. We can see we added new code. Uh, however, the INI file was not uploaded because that was that is sensitive and you should not share that one on your GitHub. And if you open your notebook, okay, so sometimes it will take a while that for you to load your notebook and you can see that the second part has not been updated. 